Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Bethany Powers and I'm here talking with you today about Mohs. Mohs and Mohs reconstruction go hand in hand. So Mohs reconstruction is something where you're coming in to see us after you've had a Mohs surgery. Mohs surgery is done with a dermatologist and so that dermatologist is trained in specifically taking off skin cancers such as basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinomas um, or even some very, very early melanomas. That dermatologist is going to go in and take just what they need to do in order to clear your skin cancer. And when we're talking about the face, that's really important because the face has very small amounts of real estate that we're willing to give up. So after you have your Mohs done by a dermatologist where you're skin cancer free, then you come in and see us. And so when you talk to us, it's oftentimes going to be about how do we restore form and function. So we want to make sure that we're talking about if you're having a skin cancer reconstruction on the nose, that we're thinking about reestablishing three layers on the nose. That's really important because if you had a defect that is going to encompass three layers, you really need to go in and restore those. If you don't, what can happen is that you could not breathe through that side of your nose. Um, the same type of thing goes for anywhere on the eyelid, anywhere on the face, lip, or anywhere really on the chin or forehead. So when we talk about Mohs reconstruction, you're going to come in and we're going to talk about all your different options. Sometimes patients require just one surgery where we can close that defect and have you really looking great after one surgery. A lot of the time with Mohs reconstruction, we might have to do two or even three surgeries in order to get you back to where you need to be. That oftentimes is gonna be if there's something that's a defect on the nose. So you have a big open sore on the nose and we need to come in and reestablish those three layers. You're really gonna need multiple procedures in order to get you form and function back. Patients oftentimes are asking me, how long does it take to fully recover after that final surgery? So again, some people need two to three surgeries after their Mohs in order to get that defect closed properly. And sometimes that means that you need to still have a six to eight week healing time after your final surgery. And what that means is that your skin cancer is totally removed. We've now taken tissue from the surrounding area on the face. We've either rotated it over or closed that defect and then we're letting that heal. You're not gonna have your final result until about six months afterward. In terms of your post-operative care, so if you do have to have multiple stages with your Mohs reconstruction, typically we wanna leave anywhere between three to four weeks between those two surgeries. And that's in order to let that skin heal and the flap that we're, we're establishing heal up. Something to expect afterward would be thinking about doing some laser treatment in addition to the surgeries. And that's gonna be so that we can blend that scar as best as possible and hide it and make it as inconsistent conspicuous as possible. In my experience, a lot of patients that have Mohs are, or are going through a skin cancer uh, reconstruction are in a very, very nervous state. They're very worried about what the final defect is going to look like. And so when you come in for that preoperative appointment, we can go through all of those different options and actually show you some before and afters as well. If you're worried that you have a skin lesion on your face, then the best thing to do is to come in and get evaluated. So coming into our office, we can actually tell you what that skin cancer could be or could not be. And that's usually done with a biopsy. So we take a very small area of that lesion and we send it to the pathologist so they can look at it under the microscope and tell us what exactly is going on. If you have a dermatologist that you're already working with and you've already been seen for a skin lesion, then they're gonna be the ones also that are able to take that biopsy. If you are worried and you don't have anybody that you've seen already, then we'd love to see you here.